Well, you guys got another video here for you. Windows 11 LTSC or Windows 11 IoT LTSC or Windows 10 LTSC or Windows 10 IoT LTSC, which is best for you? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Now, I see a lot of YouTube videos blowing up uh, videos about LTSC and IoT versions, but what ones are right for you and which ones can you use? And that's what we're going to be going through in this video. Now, this version is Windows 11 LTSC. And again, you can see it's got version 24H2 pre-installed on it, but all of the bloatware has been removed from it by Microsoft. This means it's a super light version of Windows and it's pretty stable as well, which obviously makes it very tempting for a lot of people. You can see it's not activated at the moment. That's because I haven't activated it. And we'll talk about activation for Windows 11 and Windows 10 LTSC and IoT LTSC versions. And we'll go over some of that information in this video. So I understand that a lot of people have an old computer and they want to extend a life on that old computer when Windows 10 ends, which is in October 14th, 2025. So you're going to get a lot of YouTube channels like Tech Yesterday talking about Windows 10 IoT LTSE versions and how they can extend your computer's life up until 2032, because that's how long the licensing is for that version of Windows. But what they seem to all skip over is the activation part. So that's what I'm going to be doing here today is explaining what you can do and what you can't do. So first off, Windows 10 IoT uh, LTSC Enterprise Editions, you cannot get a license key for those. They are volume license keys. These are specifically designed for organizations and used for activating Windows LTSE editions uh, through the volume licensing program. So it's designed for big organizations, not designed for small home users. So the LTSE keys are part of Microsoft's volume licensing program, which allows organizations to purchase and manage licenses for multiple devices and users. So that's what it's really designed for. So if you're looking to go down that route, you are not going to be able to get a legit key for that version of Windows period. So what about Windows 11 LTSE and Windows 11 IoT LTSE editions? These are also volume licensing keys. So you're not going to be able to get yourself a key for the Windows 11 edition, which is this one right here. You're not going to be able to get it unless you are a major company that deals in uh, volume licensing for Windows 11 LTSE and Windows 11 IoT LTSE editions. If you are one of those companies, you'll be able to get yourself a key. Now, you might know someone in the IT department that has also got their self a key, which they might be able to give you, and you'll be able to use that key to activate your version at home. Unfortunately, you cannot purchase these as a home user on the internet. It's just not possible. So you can see this is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSE version, and the build is 21H2, which means it's already end of life. Although this version will last up until 2032, you've now got to drag this version of 21H2 right up until 2032. Software companies will start to end support for that version of Windows for home users, but because you're using it as a home PC, it's going to start running into issues with software and drivers and things like that later on down the line. So bear that in mind uh, once you start using these versions of Windows because they was never designed to be run as a home computer. Now, of course, if your PC doesn't support Windows 11, then you're not going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. And that just means you've got only one other option. You can either continue to use Windows 10 unsupported, or you can pay the extended fee for $30 for one more year, or you can use some ill-gotten games to be able to use the IoT version. Other than that, the other option is Linux, and that will be another option that you might be able to use for that PC. There's plenty of flavors out there to choose from, and Linux is obviously probably the best option for you at this stage, especially if you don't have any money and you want to continue to use that computer. Yes, you're not going to be able to be playing hardcore games on it, but it does play and cover a lot of games on uh, Linux nowadays compared to what it used to. 
it's not a replacement for Windows because Windows is far superior compared to Linux in my personal opinion because obviously it just works on everything whereas Linux you have to jump for a few hoops to get things working but again this is highly debatable and that's not for this video so you can see here Windows 11 LTSC will work exactly the same way as Windows 11 Pro or Home Editions once you tweak it you will have a very clean operating system and it's going to basically give you a super lightweight version of Windows 11. Now, personally, I'm still on Windows 11 23 H2 and I am seriously looking at going into Windows 11 LTSE versions, but because I can get a license from work, it's easier for me to do that. But for you, it might be a little bit more difficult to be able to use this version of Windows. So the clock is ticking for all those people that are on Windows 10 and they have an old computer that is not compatible for Windows 11, then you need to start thinking about making a plan of action right now because the time will be on you very soon and you will need to make a decision on what you're doing, whether you're transitioning over to Linux or whether you're going to uh, use Windows 10 without security updates or pay the $30, whatever it may be, your choice is you need to start having a plan of action now because that time will be upon you very, very quickly. If you're asking my opinion on what to do, I would literally pay the $30 to Microsoft to extend security updates for one more year, which will give you another year to consider what to do uh, with that computer, maybe save some money and then maybe think about getting yourself a new PC uh, down the line. I would just do that because they may extend it for another year after that as well. We just don't know. At the moment, it's just one year only. So that's what my plan of action would be if I was in your situation. I would literally just pay the $30 to extend for another year of security updates. I wouldn't go down the route of installing Windows 10 IoT LTSE. I just wouldn't bother doing that because that's just a headache waiting to happen. And if you're one of those people that's on Windows 11 like myself, uh, that is running Windows 11 23H2, I really don't want to update to Windows 11 24H2 because it's just full of bugs and I just don't want to do it. And it causes me a lot of problems. So I really don't want that version of, uh, you know, uh, Windows. So if I can skip 24H2 and go straight to 25H2, hopefully uh, that will be an option for me that I can do rather than having to uh, use the 24H2 because it is literally just the worst probably build they've ever brought out. And a lot of this can be avoided if they tested their builds a lot more. They seem to be making pointless upgrades and up updates to their operating system like silly little things that no one's interested in rather than getting a st stable version of Windows that everyone wants and removing all the junk that no one wants. If they spent a bit more time doing that, a lot of the problems would go away. Anyway, I hope this answers a lot of your questions. I've had quite a few people emailing me about Windows 10 IoT LTSE versions and whether that's an option. Uh, they wanted to know more about it. So hopefully this will help answer all your questions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Hopefully I can get back to normal very, very soon. Just recovering from an operation. So I just have to give it time and I'm just not feeling tip top right now anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support i shall catch you in the next video or i'll catch you in the discord server for a chat real soon bye for now